Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really exciting update video for you guys. This is a video that has been a long time coming. I've gotten so many messages and comments asking me to do this video and I've finally, finally gotten around to it. Today, I will be doing a one year update for my YSL Sunset Medium and it is in the coated bark leather black uh, color and texture. As you know, if you're familiar with my channel, this is actually one of the first videos that I ever posted. Thanks to everyone that watched it, I was honestly amazed at how quickly that video grew and just accumulated so many views. It's I'm in awe, honestly, um, and I'm really glad that everyone found that review very helpful. And yeah, I'm just gonna do a update on this bag and also answer some of the comments and questions that I've received about this particular style um, over the last year. So we'll just get right to it. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Ivy and I love to do videos just like this. Um, I love to do video reviews about bags and honestly, um, fashion, travel, anything within that realm, anything that piques my interest. So yeah, welcome to my channel and I hope you guys keep watching. Um, you're probably familiar with this if you have already seen my first video, but this is the YSL Sunset Medium and as you can see, I still have the original packaging. Um, honestly, who gets rid of things like that? I know I don't. She's just been living in this box when I'm not using her. And as you can see, it comes with that dust bag. And of course, this beautiful, beautiful bag. If you actually just do a quick little visual comparison, this bag in this video and in my previous original review, you'll see that not much has changed. Uh, she is still in really, really great shape. And yeah, just in terms of first impressions, she's been living her best life this past year and I've used her a ton and she's still in really, really great shape. If you are looking for a more in-depth review about everything that has to do with this bag and things like that, I would really suggest going back to that original video where I kind of break it down for you guys. Um, I'm not gonna do a repeat of whatever was said there. So yeah, we're just gonna be focusing on some of those questions that I've received about the wear and tear and just how this bag has held up in the last year. So, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this is the YSL Sunset Medium in the coated bark leather, which is what this texture is, in the color Noir. So if you're not familiar with this particular texture, this is crafted from high quality resources left over from previous collections. But in terms of actual wear and tear, it's only been a year, so I don't think that actually is in, you know a full amount of time to really understand how this bag will wear over time but in the first year is always a great indicator in just understanding what you need to look out for in terms of the actual leather it is still very structured and fairly stiff um, because of the coating that it has sort of grained texture to it exterior of the bag has really held up well and it has absolutely no scratches and no stains at all it looks like it is in absolute mint condition which is great in terms of the hardware i don't really see a ton of fading or anything like that it is the antique gold hardware type of color definitely don't see any fading especially in areas where it would probably experience some fading especially here because of how the chain rubs um, on the little handle part so yeah absolutely no fading no scratches or anything like that and i would say it has just held up super super well in terms of the logo as you can see no fading here either it's still in really great condition when you get to the inside i think that's where you'll probably see the most wear because the interior is made out of the pure calfskin leather there's no coating on it and when you open it up you'll notice that there are some scratches here and there just from you know the experience of opening it and also rubbing up against the items that you put in the bag and also of course your hands so you'll see that even in just the lighting here that there are a few scratches smudges it's pretty difficult to avoid things like this after removing some of that paper inside you'll start to notice more nicks but yeah even just the inside in terms of the logo as you can see here um it's still very much visible there's no issue there i know with my ysl tote that was actually a big 
issue because for well, first of all the logo and the embedding is on the outside so it just has a lot of exposure so it's gone through a lot of fading also i've owned that bag for more than five years so it's definitely faded over time so yeah in terms of the actual wear of the bag that's pretty much it as you can see the exterior has done a really great job in terms of just keeping the bag in great shape and i think it, that is a lot to do with the texture that it's in because if you compare it to a lot of the other textures of this style that smooth leather will cost you for sure but moving on to some of the comments and questions that you guys have. Oh so peachy said, are you happy that you got the coated finished bark instead of the smooth leather? I'm just debating which finish to go with. Absolutely. I think that this was such a great option to go with. To be honest, when I went into the store and I asked for the YSL Sunset Medium, this is what they gave me. I had seen the smooth texture bag before, so I knew what it would look like. So I didn't really bat an eye when they gave me this one because as soon as I felt it and I saw it, I was like, wow, this is great because it will really protect the exterior of the bag especially for something you know quite expensive so definitely don't regret i think it's just really up to your taste and your style and whether you're willing to go with this type of texture from far away you can't really even tell so if you're at all trying to decide whether or not to go with this texture or a smooth texture i would definitely give this one a chance so another question i received was would you say the bag tends to get a bit heavy once you put all your stuff in it or does it remain relatively light? Honestly, it gets pretty heavy. The actual chains are already pretty heavy to be honest and while I was showing it to you guys, I was like, oh my god, my arm's kind of falling asleep. Um, but yeah, I would say it does get heavy, especially if you add like a phone, your wallet and all of your essentials. I would say <laughs> on your shoulder, it probably adds up to about maybe three to four pounds depending on what items you have. So. I would definitely take note of that in terms of just your overall comfort but honestly I don't really mind it it looks really cute and it's never really hurt me in a way that I couldn't carry it for the whole day so it's not a big deal I would say so another question I received was could you share the price you got it for I'm just asking because I think YSL had a recent price increase and this person asked it about nine months ago I bought this bag last year August of 2021 in New York City for $22.90. When I replied to this comment nine months ago, it had increased to $23.90. And now I'm looking at their site and it is currently $25.50. So needless to say, this is going through some pretty extreme price increases. Um, I'd like to say maybe that's the end of it, but honestly, I don't think so. I have a feeling that this could probably run up to past 3k by the end of this year if not next year so if you're looking for this bag or if you've been eyeing this bag i would say just do it now before it gets even more expensive because the prices are just getting absolutely ridiculous another question from jackie nunez do you think this bag would be a good evening bag or do you think it's mostly for an everyday bag actually i think this would be a great evening bag um it is slightly larger than what you'd want an evening bag to be but i love like one of the reasons why i bought it was because it was fancy enough to serve as a evening bag but kind of toned down enough to be used as a casual everyday kind of bag too so it has that sort of versatility and it's one of the reasons why i like it so definitely yes you can use this as both if you really wanted i'm spending that much money you should use it everywhere right <laughs> another question i got was i'm planning on getting the same bag but i wonder if the coating will come off eventually like peeling and sticky so in my experience and by the way i live in a pretty humid sort of area the humidity here goes up to 80 90 percent sometimes and when i'm taking out this bag you know it's definitely exposed to the environment um which is where i feel like the coating and you know the way the leather has been treated plays a huge role in terms of the longevity and i would say that this has held up really really well i don't see it getting to the point where the coating will peel and get sticky because i don't actually think that's how they've coated it it's not like patented leather or anything like that but again i can't say for sure because i've only really used it i've only really had it for a year and this type of question runs along more you know in the next 10 15 years when you really really use the bag that's where i feel like you'll start to see things like those potentially i would say right now no but 10 15 20 years i don't know maybe <laughs> hopefully i can make another update video and i'll let you know if that happens so that is pretty much it for this one year review um to be quite honest like i mentioned there hasn't been a lot of issues with this bag for me i've used it 
a ton and it's just kept up really well i love that it still has its beautiful structured shape and that the coated bark leather texture has really made it invulner invulnerable to a lot of potential issues so yeah definitely feel like it was a great investment for me and i really appreciate everyone's engagement and just questions about this bag i really hope that this has helped get a better understanding um, especially if you are you know looking to make this type of purchase and yeah if you guys have any other questions for me please feel free to comment down below once again thank you so much for all your support and all your love i know this is a very small channel but i really do hope all of this information is helpful for you guys and if there are any other types of videos you'd like to see from me just comment down below and i will see you guys in the next one peace